Hello everyone, good day. I am Teacher Angel and today I will going to teach mathematics about measurement, weight, and volume. So our first topic is all about measuring weight in kilograms and grams. First, let's define kilograms or kg. It is a larger unit of mass that is used to measure heavier objects. Example, elephant. An elephant is heavy because it is big and it has larger weight. Next, let's define grams or g. It is a small unit of mass that is used to measure light objects. Example, a puppy. A puppy is light because it is small and it has smaller weight. So kilogram is for larger or heavier object and grams is for smaller or light object. Measuring weight using spring scale. In the picture, you can see a spring scale. A spring scale is used to measure weight. And a spring scale consists of different parts. First, we have the face. So this is the face of a spring scale. There are numbers 0 to 7 and a pointer. Each unit represents 1 kilogram. So we have 1 kilogram, 2 kilograms, 3 kilograms, 4 kilograms, 5 kilograms, 6 kilograms, and 7 kilograms. And there are also 10 unmarked divisions in between each kilogram mark. Each division represents 100 grams. So we will start here. This mark represents 100 grams, 200 grams, 300 grams, 400 grams, 500 grams, 600 grams, 700 grams, 800 grams, and 900 grams. Next, we have the pen. So this is the pen. The object measured is placed in the pen. And remember, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. I will give you some examples. Here, you can see green apples. In this figure, the pointer points to the seventh division between zero and one kilogram marks. Therefore, we can say that the green apples weigh 700 grams or 700 G. Another example, we have here oranges. In this figure, the pointer points to the six kilogram mark. Therefore, we can say that the oranges weigh 6 kilograms or 6 kg. And another example, we have here a fish. In this figure, the pointer points to the second division between 1 and 2 kilogram marks. So we can say that the fish weights one kilogram and 200 grams or 1,200 grams. Next, we have comparing weight in kilograms and grams. So we are going to learn how to compare weight. So in the picture, you can see a puppy and a pig. And a puppy weighs three kilograms, while a pig weighs seven kilograms. As we all know, three is smaller than seven. 
So three kilograms is smaller than seven kilograms. So we can say a puppy is lighter than a pig. Since a puppy weighs three kilograms and the pig is seven kilograms. Or we can say that seven kilograms is greater than three kilograms. So we can say that a pig is heavier than a puppy. Since a pig weighs seven kilograms and the puppy weighs three kilograms. Another example, we have here a book and a coconut. A book weighs one kilogram and 200 grams, while a coconut weighs one kilogram and 600 grams. As you can see, they have the same value of kilogram. So we are going to compare their grams. As we all know, 200 is smaller than 600. So we can say that one kilogram and 200 grams is smaller than one kilogram and 600 grams. So we can say that a book is lighter than a coconut or one kilogram and 600 grams is greater than one kilogram and 200 grams. So we can say that a coconut is heavier than a book. When we compare weights, we compare the value in kilograms first, then compare the value in grams. Our second topic is all about volume and capacity. Comparing the volume of objects, we are going to learn how to compare the volume of an object. So we have here container A and container B. The volume of water in container A is higher than the volume of water in container B. So we can say that container A has higher volume. The volume of water in container B is lower than the volume of water in container A. So we can say that container B has lower volume. So when we fill same containers with water, or other materials, a higher level of water or materials indicates a higher volume. And a lower level of water or materials indicates a lower volume. Next, comparing the capacity of containers. So we are going to learn how to compare the capacity of containers. So we have here container A and container B. Container A has lower capacity and container B has higher capacity. Another example, we have here container A and container B. Container A has lower capacity and container B has higher capacity. Why? Because the container that can hold more water or other materials has a higher capacity and the container that can hold less water or other materials has a lower capacity. If the container is big, it has higher capacity. But if the container is small, it has lower capacity. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. See you again next time. Bye-bye.